So first off, let's try adding a fade to black where you have your scene, your animation finishes, and then it kind of just gets a bit darker until it's totally black. To start off, let's go ahead and add a new layer. So this is going to be our black layer here that we're going to draw over our scene with. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so I can see my whole scene better. Let's make sure my color is set to black here for the shape I'm going to draw. And then I'm going to just go ahead and cover my whole screen with this black rectangle. So once you have the black rectangle, you're going to right click on it and create a shape tween. So you might remember from when we worked on shape tweens in week two, that not only can you change the shape, but you can change the color too. This is going to be really helpful for us. So we draw in the black rectangle, create a shape tween. And let's go ahead and add a keyframe where we want the fade to start from. So now what we need to do is we need to tell our animation that it's going to be invisible in the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and add another keyframe at the end with the insert keyframe button. So now there's three keyframes that we can still see, but we want it to start out invisible and then kind of fade in. So click on the first keyframe for your shape layer. And on properties on the top right corner of our screen, we want to make sure we're on object because here is where you can go in and change the color any way you want. And it would animate that difference. So in our case, what we want to do is the fill will keep it the same color and this little checkerboard here that says hundred percent, that's how see through or not it is. So if you put it down to zero percent, that means you won't see it anymore. So you see, I go back to the beginning. It's not there, kind of slowly fades in. So I'm going to do the same thing for the second keyframe because I'm basically saying, oh, this first part of the animation, it won't be there. And then at the very end, it'll fade in. So again, to make it see through, you would click on your shape, go to object and set that transparency to 0% here. 